Commentary on Aristotle's Metaphysics by Averroes, also known by his given name, Ibn Rushd, is a work providing an extensive analysis and interpretation of Aristotle's metaphysics. In this comprehensive work, Averroes engages with Aristotle's complex and profound ideas on the nature of being, the structure of reality, and the philosophical underpinning of existence itself. Averroes lived during the medieval Islamic Golden Age, and he was a polymath who wrote on a wide array of subjects, including philosophy, theology, medicine, astronomy, and the law. One of his most significant contributions was his extensive commentaries on the works of Aristotle, which earned him the nickname The Commentator in the Latin West, where his works heavily influenced medieval scholasticism. In his commentary, Averroes addresses the central questions raised in Aristotle's original text, placing a special emphasis on the concept of substance and the differentiation between potentiality and actuality. The metaphysical inquiry into what things are, why they exist, and how they come to be drives the discussion throughout the text. Substance for Aristotle and Averroes is the underlying reality that supports all predicates and attributes and remains constant through change. It is central to understanding the nature of things since substance relates to essence, what a thing is in itself. For Aristotle, there are primary substances, which are individual entities like a particular horse or tree, and secondary substances, which are the species and genera these individuals belong under. Averroes examines this hierarchy of substances and seeks to clarify the relationship between particular substances and their universal categories. The differentiation between potentiality and actuality is another Aristotelian distinction that Averroes explores. In Aristotle's framework, everything has the potential to become something else or to actualize certain properties under the right conditions. For example, a seed has the potential to become a tree, and it is through a process in which it grows and develops that it becomes an actual tree. Averroes works through this metaphysical dynamic to explain change and movement in the natural world. The concept of causality is also a key topic in Averroes' commentary. Aristotle introduced four types of causes, material, formal, efficient, and final, to fully explain how and why things exist and undergo change. Averroes delves into each type of cause, notably elaborating on the efficient cause or the agent that brings something into being, and the final cause, which is the purpose or end for which something is done. Both efficient and final causes are central to grasping why things are as they are, and Averroes is meticulous in tying these causes back to the foundational questions of metaphysics. The commentary further examines the nature of God and the divine as the first cause and as an actuality without potentiality, according to Aristotle's conception of the unmoved mover. Averroes reconciles this with Islamic theology emphasizing that God is the necessary existence from which all contingent beings derive. With God being absolutely actualized, without any potentiality, He is the source of all movement and change without being subject to change Himself. Averroes also tackles the subject of knowledge and how human beings come to know the reality they inhabit. He discusses the role of the intellect and the process by which it abstracts universal concepts from the particular instances perceived by the senses. Intellectual knowledge is a significant theme, as for Averroes and Aristotle, true knowledge involves grasping the universal principles that underlie the sensory world. Additionally, Averroes illumines Aristotle's discussion on the existence of universals, both before and after the things themselves, deliberating on how universals exist in the mind as abstracted essences and in reality as instantiated in particular things. This aspect of metaphysics is foundational, as it leads to the discussion on the eternal nature of universals and their relation to particular, perishable substances. In the realm of ontology, Everos critically assesses substance further, considering its attributes and how it can be categorized. This involves a discussion on the ten categories or predicaments, substance, quantity, quality, relation, time, position, state, action, and passion, which outline different ways of being and talking about being. Averroes dissects these categories and their interrelations, offering insights on how they contribute to a comprehensive structure of reality. Lastly, Averroes investigates the philosophical issues regarding the possibility of metaphysics as a science, the existence and nature of God, 
the structure and constituents of the physical universe, and the immortality of the soul. He defends the Aristotelian position that metaphysics is a study of being qua being, an inquiry into the first principles and causes of reality. He maintains that even though God's essence is radically different from that of the natural, contingent world, rational inquiry can provide at least an analogical understanding of the divine. In his writings, Averroes pays tribute to Aristotle by providing a rigorous, systematic extension of the ancient philosopher's thoughts. He is committed to harmonizing philosophy with the religious understanding of his own cultural context, though not without encountering controversy for some of his more innovative interpretations. Through his commentary, Averroes not only preserves and elucidates Aristotle's metaphysics for a new audience, but also develops his own unique contributions to metaphysics and philosophy at large. His work bridges cultures and eras, influencing a vast array of subsequent scholars both in the Islamic world and in the Western philosophical tradition. The commentary on Aristotle's metaphysics remains a vital text for understanding medieval philosophy, the interpretation of Aristotle, and the interactions between different philosophical and theological traditions.